Okay, for each photo, uh, first things first, you want to make sure that you are on the crop option and that you are choosing a ratio crop that's 5 by 7. 5 by 7 is actually a portrait mode, but if you hit this little arrow up here, it'll reverse it so that it's 7 by 5. And what I'm going to do is I had really originally wanted to crop this anyway to try and reduce some of that extra space and tighten up on Enzo and the students that were surrounding him. So I'm going to go up to about here and hit return. And that kind of puts Enzo and the family on the hot spot, surrounded by mountainside students with the stuffed stables t-shirts. Um, the rest of it is to go into camera raw filter. Remember, this applies the previous settings. You have to go straight to the default in order to get that to work. Um, the first problem you may encounter, um, and it's over here in color, is the white balance. So if it's too yellow, it usually means that there's multiple sources of light and the camera chooses the wrong white balance. Um, you can try auto white balance correction, although that doesn't look any better. In fact, that looks a little bit cooler. You can also use the dropper and just choose a subject that you know is fairly bright and white, and it'll adjust that way. Uh, and basically what it's doing is changing color temperature and tint to try its best to keep the whites as bright and white as possible, and then it, all the other colors adjust. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with auto and then just bring that tint back a little bit. I think that's what's killing that slightly cooler, bring it back up a tad. And then the rest of it um, is going to be here and it's in the <clears throat> exposure settings. And a lot of times they're a little underexposed, so you want to give it a boost. And you can play with shadows and highlights to create you know, more contrast or to bring some of the detail in the shadows up. Now the jeans are starting to show. And just go through that process. Um, you can also do this, which is interesting. Um, it might create some emphasis, especially if there's a lot of blues on the couch. So instead of affecting all of the colors at once, I'm going to be affecting saturation. And I'm going to drain out every color but blue to see what I have left. Um, actually, purple and blue looks kind of cool, so I'm going to leave that just to see, because it really accentuates the stuff, the stables, really quickly. And let me keep that in there and try that one. Doesn't seem to be having as much effect. Boost the blues up a tad and see how many aquas are in there. Not many. So the idea is that with this, um, you have hue, saturation, and luminance. They all do different things. But you can do one color channel at a time. Now, this does look a little strange. I'm not going to lie. Um, but maybe it would look better if I had only chosen one color and just kept with the purples and drained everything out. So it's almost a black and white. But the theme of the purple shirts connects really well with these two shirts, and it also connects with the Stuff to Sable shirts in that right there. So those are some things you could do for this assignment to kind of get more out of it. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one other thing that I wanted to get to, and that is this. When you get really close, I'm going to use a zooming tool to dive into a detail here, a lot of times you're going to see a lot of grain, a lot of noise. Um, this is where you can go to the detail option and basically reduce the noise. And if you can't see that, trust me that there's a lot of smoothing going on. Uh, these jeans, I'll try that again and get just even closer. I'll do that one more time. No noise reduction, and you can see those little flex to about 50 noise reduction. And what that does if I get back out and view the whole image, is it shows you that everything kind of smooths out and prints better. It takes away some of the sharpness of the photo, uh, but it does add a lot of uh, smoothness so that when you print it out, you don't see that digital noise. It's, a, it's an important step. And again, when you're in low light, it's helpful. So hit OK, and then this would be your image. And just don't forget to save it. This would be considered a candid shot. Uh, one of the candidates with more than one face, so a group candid shot. They didn't know that I was taking the picture. Um, but that's a good one for that. All right, hope this helps you on your editing process.